Hey folks, it's been a while since I was able to record a video. <laughs> Hell's been kind of a mess, so really haven't been able to. So, getting down to the last few locks that are attached to this master lock, or the American lock. Today I'm going to try to pick a master lock V-line or 5-line, <clears throat> not sure which. It's a 50 millimeter padlock. I'm using a... Top of the keyway, homemade top of the keyway tension wrench. I think you can see the little teeth I uh, cut into it there. And I'm bringing back an old favorite. Well, not exactly a favorite, but an old tool I haven't used for quite a while, which is the RCS jackknife from, I believe, lockpicktools.com or hardcase survival, or whatever that is. Anyway, if you're interested, post a comment, and I'll find you a link to where I bought it. Okay, so we're using the DeForest Diamonds on the jackknife. Okay. This lock has been... Pretty picky back at actually getting picked on camera. Well, that's not good. I'm muttering it about not being good because the, what has happened is the pick was moved in a way which caused the other picks to move up. So that makes it harder to use. I think when I initially talked about this jackknife, the major criticism I had for it was that right here there's this gap. If it was flush there, that would be really helpful, <clears throat> which would prevent the picks from doing what this is doing and moving back at a weird angle. which I will point out, I was not having problems with, at least not using the DeForest Diamond, with the jackknife earlier. But of course, now that I turn the camera on, it won't stay in place. Let's try this one more time. One nice thing about this is you can definitely open it <clears throat> with one hand, unlike the Swick. At least I can't open the Swick with one hand. Maybe some other people can, but not me. grab a different DeForest diamond made by the same folks and let the pins drop again and see if we can try this again. Since Jackknife doesn't want to cooperate right now. Okay, I've got a nice click out of the first pin and some rotation. Second pin, another click, more movement on the or is that the plug? Does it matter? Probably to somebody. But well, I've got you here. I hope everyone's doing well. You're staying healthy. Incredibly painful sore throat with swollen lymph nodes. That's what I'm dealing with, and achy all over, and in tons of pain. Now I will mention I would I use one of those home test kits for the you know <clears throat> thing that's been going around for the last almost two years now. No, about two, yeah, two years. That's when it showed up, and uh, that was negative, although. 
Those aren't a hundred percent. I think it said it was about not eighty-five percent accurate. Those tests sold out real quick. Bought two and realized I needed more. Ended up having to spend a lot more money at a store that only had some left because they were charging more. And we got an open. <clears throat> so yeah, hope everyone's having a great whatever holiday you're celebrating. If you're celebrating anything this time of year, here's the key for this lock. I'll even show you. And uh, no, by the way, I got a playlist if with uh, the locks attached to the master to the American lock. If you want to check that out. So thanks for watching, folks, and have a great day.